events directory. So I'll just do a little bit of maintenance while we wait for everybody to pop on. So I won't be a moment. Hope everybody's week and weekend was wonderful. Won't be a moment. I'm still a bit croaky. And here we go. So I won't be a moment. Hope everybody's here. Okay, so let's have a look at what the energy, what energy we we have at the moment. I'm using the I'm a Manifesto Magical Oracle cards, and we're going to have a look at what energy is around at the moment. The book's in there. I thought, hmm, that feels really heavy. So let's have a look. What energy do we have around at the moment that we're manifesting with? So it's a really good idea to stop to take a big breath in and ask spirit where are we at the moment in our manifest manifesting and what do we need to know so let's have a look let's have a look the first one is belief so this is the belief card so it's saying you know know that there's there's people up there i know in the last um, few days i've sort of wondered in the last week you know where are you spirit there's times that I've felt quite alone and wondered where my spiritual team was. So this is sort of saying to you, um, the spiritual energy is around, spirits around, your guides, your ancestors, your totem animals. But just remember that there's not a here or there. They're in another vibration right next to us. Okay, so that's belief. Believe that they are there with you. So that's the first card in the general energy at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the general energy that's around that we're manifesting with at this point in time, and we're doing that first. So let's have a look. What's the next card? And the next card is help. Funny that that card comes up, so I'm still a bit croaky. So this is telling us to watch our health, what we're putting into our body, not just holistically, just not just you know what we're eating, but holistically, mind, body, and soul. So whatever we're doing at the moment is going to be affecting our health, and so we need to make sure that what we're putting into our body, holistically, mind, body, and soul, and what's around, is exactly what we need to have in our life at this point in time. And the last card, and then we'll get on to the manifesting business. Let's have a look. The last card for this general reading for this week is forgiveness. So remember, forgiveness is symbolic. It's for us. So it takes forgiveness takes us out of um, looking in the past and staying in the past and being a slave to the past. And it's about moving forward for, and to be lighter and to help us move forward. So we can't move forward very well without the forgiveness so that's where we are in this week so you know there's a few things that we've got to remember but remember we're talking about us internally now this is the um, next part that I'll do for 20 minutes to half an hour and we'll talk about the next step to manifesting so the first week we talked about self-love the next week we talked about releasing and forgiveness the next week we covered um, gratitude Last week we talked about manifesting and this week we're talking about letting it go. But not letting it go as in releasing. It's more like um, letting it go to spirit so that we actually, um, for our highest good, are letting go our wishes and our dreams. But for our highest good and giving spirit room enough to, to bring in what it is that we need for our highest good. So when I talk about letting go, I talk about letting go of the, the picture or the, the, the idea. We're letting the idea go, the intent go to spirit so that they can, can bring back to us what it is for our highest good. You know, sometimes when we want something to happen so badly, we don't stop thinking about it. It's in our head. We're concentrating and it just feels like mud we don't feel like that we're making way it doesn't feel fluent 
So that's when we let it go. We let it go to spirit and stop thinking about it. And, and we stop by thinking about it all the time and being serious about it. We actually stop it manifesting for us. We actually need to let it go to spirit. We need spirit to be able to, or create a white light, whatever, you know. We need them to bring in what is for our highest good. Now, I've got a couple of um, different things coming up and I wanted to share that with you as well. Now, um, on the 13th of July, and I'm going to put the links in this um, this live feed so you can see it at the top afterwards, but the link's there. On the 13th of July, I'm doing a webinar with Spiritual Events Directory that you can sign up and register for and we'll go through the blocks and I'll get to, in a, in a, a wonderful environment on Zoom, we'll get to, um, I'll be able to talk to you one-on-one -on -one and we'll be able to lift some of the blocks and some patterns that you haven't been able to shift yourself. And that'll be on the 13th of July via webinar. So uh, by a webinar via Zoom. So you can actually register for that. Um, but also I've got coming up on the 11th of August in Melbourne, um, myself and Claire Hill of Claire Hill Coaching, who happens to be my niece, are bringing th um, um, through and we're presenting um, a day workshop. And it's I think it's four or five hours workshop in Melbourne um, help to help you love the spiritual gifts that you have, to help you use them in an everyday sort of way. And so that will be um, on the 11th of August and you can book that if you're in the Melbourne area on clairehillcoaching.com. So Claire is C-L-A-I-R, Hill, H-I-L-L, -L, coaching.com. So there's a couple of places that you can catch me. You can to especially get a little bit more of a one-on-one -on -one and a, just a bit of a hand with, with the manifesting. You can uh, join me on the webinar um, on the 13th of August. Anyway, all of the links and all of the information will be at the top of the post. So I just, you know, having this, this um, knowledge to help you but not being available so um, I can't I can give you one-on-one -on -one advice I can help you shift things um, so that's what I wanted to do it looks like my computer is freezing a little bit um, so it's trying to connect again but I'll keep talking and hopefully you'll catch all of this um, so I'm just hoping nobody else is on the page because sometimes when there's somebody else that's in the admin comes on the page, it freezes the network. So we're hoping that nobody else is on there. So I'm, I'm just going to keep talking. So we're talking about letting it go to spirit. Now I'll just read that part. Now you know that I, I put my processes in the book, uh, my book, Seven Eighths of Me, A Tale of a Spiritual Adventurer. So part of that process is uh, letting go, and that's down the bottom here, and I'll talk to you about that now. Let it go. You release fear and doubt to spirit. You know when you're trying to make something happen, you can't stop thinking about it. Trying to manifest in that state is like trying to walk through mud. It's heavy and doesn't flow. This is when you need to trust and have faith. Spirit has got this. Yes, you do need to take a step in the direction, but don't force it. Spirit needs room to move and you need to remain light and joyful and in the now so you can hear the messages and take those synchronistic steps. The more you dig and release and work on the five above steps, the better the return. So that's what we've been talking about. We've been talking about the five steps to help you manifest the way of life that is for your highest good. So when you're manifesting and you need to let it go, so it would be like if you're manifesting a home and so you're wanting to move home and you want spirit to help you find the perfect house for you. So what you would do first is you would thank the home that you're in at the moment and say thank you very much for having us but we're now ready to move on and we'd like you to now 
let us let us you know be free and and move to a home that is for our highest good so what actually happens then is can you just hang on for a moment it just seems like it's freezing a lot and i'm not sure if that's what it's doing just going to have a look i'm not seeing any more comments it looks okay I have enough bars so I'll continue so when you're thinking about a new house you do that you think the house that you're in at the moment and you get ready for the next house and you start thinking about what do I want to feel in that next house I want to feel loved and respected and calm and peaceful and safe so you know that's that's the sort of things that you would think about when you're manifesting and you'd say to spirit I now give the give this over to you I let it go and, and you find and give me the signs to find me the, the next best house for me or home for me and so that's sort of how it works so if you want a pool you want to be able to come home and and you think about jumping in the pool and cool and refreshing but you're not picturing the house and what it looks like the area and what that looks like you might you're picturing the feelings or the pool or what that that feels like you're thinking about what it is that's going to feel, you're going to feel cool and refreshed after hopping into a pool. And as you drive up the street, you can feel the breeze and you can see the beautiful trees and the lovely safe neighbourhood. So you're talking about things, the feelings that you want to feel like when you're actually there or coming home. And that's what you're looking, that's how you manifest. You look at the feelings that you want to feel when you're there. And you're putting that out to spirit and saying, you know, find me that home. I want to sit on the front deck and feel the sea breeze and know I'm safe. And this is for my highest good. Or I want to, to look out the window and see beautiful grass and wildflowers and smell the wildflowers when the sun hits them of a morning you know it's the feeling that it's going to give you and then if it's for your highest good spirit will bring that and that's what we want more of so that's just how i mean by letting it go have the idea have the feeling no practice what it feels like imagine it daydream about it but let it go to spirit and then ask spirit you know Show me in really big ways. I want big signs and a lot of clarity so that you're actually able to, to, um, to manifest it, to, to let it happen, to, to let it be organic. Because when we try and force things, they don't turn out sometimes the way that we want them. We think that that's what we want but it's not quiet and then we have to do another two steps to get to the place that we want to do. Why do that when you've got the perfect helpers up there that can see everything? And you're doing it for um, in an unconditional loving way. There's, n there's nothing dark about it. You know, if you're saying it for your family's highest good, there's nothing wrong with that. You can only manifest for yourself and your immediate loved ones that live with you. But really it's about you and what you feel like. Carla said that is perfect advice. I need this. Thank you. And so if we're manifesting a partner, remember the self-love, the forgiveness, the releasing the blocks and the patterns, of all got to be done first. So that we have, we've got a really good solid foundation. And then we can ask spirit to bring in a loving partner for our highest good. And so we need to be the best person that we can be to mimic, to mirror what we want to come in. So sometimes when we're not being the best version of ourselves, we lower our vibrations and remember we that's who we connect with on the lower vibrations so we need to get back into that space of being the best version of ourselves and sometimes I find it hard to get into that spot 
when I'm around um, vibrations um, from my past um, that still treat me like I was then um, and, and haven't grown with me. It's, it is hard and, and I slip back and I have to work even harder to get myself back to where I need to be. So even though I've been studying, studying this sort of thing and practicing my gifts for 30, 30 odd years, I still have to practice that. So when we're thinking about a partner, we need to make sure that we're in the best possible place, headspace, holistically, mind, body and soul to attract that person to us. And then when we're thinking about a partner and we're letting it go to spirit and saying, spirit, bring me somebody in for my highest good, they won't bring somebody in for your highest good if you're not ready. So you can't get shitty with spirit for not bringing you that person if you've not done the work and you're not ready. But when we're thinking about a partner, we've got to think about how we want to feel, the feelings that we want to have with that person. It needs to be, be right. It needs to be good. It needs to be from white light. It needs to be unconditional love and a, otherwise things won't work properly. I'm just going to have a quick drink. So that's a little bit about, sorry that it's plastic, but I'm not home at the moment. And so when I'm traveling, I can only have what I'm having. So that's really important when you're looking for a partner is to start thinking about what you need to do to get to that space. And then you have to let it go. Yes, you have to take the signs and the synchronicities and the messages from spirit and you need to get yourself from here to here and, and show up. But you're not showing up for that reason because you should have by now filled that void inside of you and be fine on your own and then meeting somebody that's for your highest good that your energy can expand and is where you should be. You should be fine without somebody and fine with somebody. So that's a little bit of work that you, you sort of need to do on, on that aspect. But it's all about the feeling and what you want to feel like. So when you've figured out what it is that you think that you're manifesting, you just say to spirit, you know, I'm going to now give that to you for my highest good, that or something better basically. And if it doesn't come and it's not, don't force it, just let it be. It's organic. It grows with you. Nothing stays the same. So spirit will help you. You just need to have done the work and be open to it. Okay, let's do some reading. So while I'm um, I'm going to talk for as long as I can, okay. So put your name, share this live feed um, and uh, ask me for a card. The computer is misbehaving a little bit, um, but put your name down and hopefully they'll start moving in a minute. Um, so put your name down and ask me for a card, please. Okay. Who wants a card? Please put your name there. I'm waiting for a little minute because it's not spinning over. It's it's really not behaving very nicely today, this internet. Um, Belinda L. Todd, like a card, please. Okay. So like Share this feed for Spiritual Events Directory. Okay, Belinda, let's have a look. What do you need help with to manifest? A oh, few moment. <coughs> Sorry. Let's have a look. And we were talking about homes before, and this is the, the home is your castle. So this is making sure that at home you're having the time to appreciate what it is that you have. It's it's. Belinda, I think it's just having a bit more of nurture time at home. Okay, it's it's spending time there and appreciating and being grateful 
and you know there's roses underneath it's it's time to smell the roses so I really think that that's um, that's important for you at the moment okay I'm trying to um, Kate Miller can I have a card please Kate you certainly can so just share this live feed and we'll have a look at some cards and I'll talk so I can't talk anymore okay let's have a look Kate let's have a look what do you need help with okay free will Kate there's two paths there one's dark and one's light now spirit can only help you and they've got their hand out to you if you ask them so free will you need to ask spirit for help on your path and choosing what direction to go in okay so you can see spirits up there holding their hand out and you just need to ask um emily cooper yes let's have a look emily so I share this live feed be a lucker of this me over on the i am a manifesto facebook page let's have a look emily what do you need to know i love this card emily this is the prosperity card this is where you are at the moment the energy around you is prosperity so work with it while it's there build on it so it's i call it my sweet spot it's when i feel confident happy everything's going and that's the energy that you're betraying that's just around you at this point in time so work with that it's very prosperous for you what you're doing at this point in time so use it to the best of your ability diane radley can i have a card please you certainly can diane let's have a look so share this live feed and put your name underneath let's have a look diane radley and we're using the i'm a manifesto magical oracle cards which are my own cards we've sold out of them at the moment and they're going to be reprinted this year so as soon as they are i'll let you know okay diane let's have a look let's have a look addiction so watch the patterns that are around you at the moment so Diane addictions don't just mean alcohol drugs um, gambling it can mean blocks and patterns it can mean doing the same thing around and around and around again so just be careful of that on the card is Sekhmet and Raphael you can't get a bigger healer than Sekhmet now Sekhmet to come in and to help you with all your addictions for your highest good burn them away I don't want them anymore addictions are self-satisfying for five minutes we want long-term happiness we want to be happy for long term and if you can see on that card the chains there have been broken so that's you know you've got to have to have a look at the same cycles that you're in because if you do the same thing all the time and expect a different outcome it's not going to work you need to change something okay Krista O'Connor card please let's have a look so don't forget to share this live feed so put your name down and that you've shared it and we'll have a look okay Krista what does Krista need help with to manifest now what is it that Krista needs help with Krista I feel like I'm looking far I feel like that, that you're wanting to travel I feel like that I'm looking into the future and feng shui card came up okay this is so important when you're manifesting you know there's not one thing in my house or that i wear i do that isn't feng shui in some way it isn't there to help me manifest so when we're talking about manifest manifesting krista and we're talking about feng shui look at where things are positioned around look at the colors the smells what are you trying to manifest with them I mean, we go into buy crystals and oils that we like to smell, but do we think what we're going to manifest when we buy them? Do we put them in our best direction? You can look up your KUA number, which is a KUA calculator on Google. You can put in your date of birth and it will and it will put, tell you what your best direction is. 
So when you're having a meeting or sleeping or for your health, it'll tell you the direction to face. So I use feng shui in all sorts of ways and it is so beneficial and so helpful. I feel like that before that you were looking afar, you're looking at things at a distance and I feel like that you're going to need to feng shui your area. It's opening the doors and the windows and letting the chi fly through, getting out stale energy and bringing in new energy. It's all of those things, but you can access it at any given point in time, okay? So if you're looking at traveling, buy a globe of the world and sit on your desk. So when you're, you're thinking about things, you, you put them in front of you. You're rippling that out. It doesn't mean that you have to be looking at it and have it next to you all the time. But just that quick glance as you go past, just that knowing that it's there and this, this is there for you. So that's another area that, you know, we look at and it's really important when you're manifesting. Um, Emma Burton would love a card, please, Emma. That's great. So remember, share this live feed. Emma Burton, let's have a look. And I'll get to who I can, whoever spirit guides me to. So let's have a look. Emma Burton. This is the career card, Emma. It's a beautiful card. The lady's on the card. She's got that beautiful energy coming around her. Everything's flowing. She's there doing what she needs to do, what she's here to do. So when we talk about life purpose and uh, in the spiritual world, some people think that they have to do something grand. Most of the time, it's doing something that are going to help others in some way, shape or form. Now, this lady on the card is obviously a florist, but she loves the flowers, she loves the smells, she loves the colours. And so she radiates at that energy. And so there's money coins around her, because when you're doing what you're supposed to do, everything flows. So she makes people happy by, by giving them the most beautiful flowers. So... It sometimes isn't a grand thing that we do. It doesn't need, you don't need to be the next spiritual guru to be doing your life purpose. But if it rocks your world and it's what you're passionate about and what you think you're here to do, then do that because that's the response that you get from spirit. That's the response that you get from the universe creator. God, whatever words that you use, because you're there helping people in any way, shape or form. And it's what you enjoy. So you radiate that and the love that you radiate in doing what you love goes out and gets rippled out to everybody that, that's in the vicinity. I hope that makes sense. Becca Lee, let's have a look. Becca would love a card. Becca, what do you need to know for your high school? So remember, share this live feed. Put your name down and that you've shared it. Becca Lee, let's have a look. Becca, I had a horse come into my head then. I don't know if you love horses or you're around horses, but I had a horse um, that just came in. Becca, let's have a look. The feeling. Now this card hasn't come up a lot lately. This is the feeling card. See the lady floating on the water. Now it's beautiful water. There's a mermaid, there's dolphins, there's a turtle, there's um, an e sea eagle, but she's floating. And that feeling. You know what I was talking to you about? You have to find that feeling that you want to experience. That's what she's doing. And Becca, that's what you need to do. You need to do that thing that gives you that feeling. Whether it's floating in the water, having a bath, 
going for a walk in nature, laying down, looking up at the clouds, watching the stars. Do you know, it couldn't be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to cost you money. You don't need to go on, to some, on some big holiday to get that feeling. But that's what they're saying, that you need to get that feeling so that you know. You know what it is to feel that and then more of that will come. You know, if you do like anything to do with horses or you used to when you were a kid, loved them, never had anything to do with them, try and find somewhere to go and connect with a horse. I think personally that's uh, probably one of your guides. It's probably a horse because as soon as I said your name, a horse appeared. So I think the connection is quite strong and probably would benefit you to, you know, no end. Azra would like a card, please. Let's have a look, Azra. What can we do for you? What do you need help with? Let's have a look, Azra. Well, Azra, there you go. The door is open. That's the card that you've got. So the path that you're on, the door is open. The decision that you're waiting for, you're open. It's open door, go through it. There's a kookaburra there and in through the door in, onto the water is a dolphin. You know, and kookaburras laugh. They always show me good signs. They always tell me when something good is coming. And so, Azra, go for it. The only thing that would stand in your way is being fearful. And fearful of the unknown is a normal response. But if you can release fear and doubt and walk through that door and give it a go, it's really beneficial for you. Okay, let's have a look. Belinda Todd said, sure is sitting beside my fire listening to this is magic. Thanks. So there you go. Wonderful. Um, let's have a look. Um, Melissa Scanion, let's have a look. See if we can't give Melissa a card to help her manifesting. So we're using the I'm a Manifesto Magical Oracle cards, which are my own cards. And we're talking about manifesting. So let's have a look, Melissa. Let's have a look. Spiritual teacher. There you go, Melissa. Spiritual teacher. And I'd say you use your wisdom and your knowledge to help other people. But you get to a point that you hold back a little bit and you are not sharing because of your doubt in yourself. It wouldn't hurt you to have a spiritual mentor to help you navigate through that. In my book, Seven Eights of Me, I talk about my spiritual um, tale and my, my growth and and things and, and self-doubt, you know, my self-doubt in my spiritual ability was, you know, crippling. And I kept doing more things and more things and I studied with Lisa Williams and, and certified myself for mediumship because I didn't want to call myself a medium until I'd studied a course. Um, I went to study at Arthur Finlay College, which is in London, with Tony Stockwell and his tutors for the week. So I did lots of things and lots of modalities and lots of courses over 30 years and it took me a long time to feel confident enough to, to sit in my, you know, to own it. So I believe that you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom to share, but I believe that you have a lot more that's untapped. So if you can find a mentor or a spiritual teacher that can help you work through the nerves and the doubt um, I really think that you would be, uh, it would be beneficial for you because we need more people to help share things. Um, Roxy, Roxy, can I have a please have a card, please? Yes, you can. So share this live feed, put your name down. Let's have a look. Roxy, what can we do? What can we, 
How can we help Roxy? What does Roxy need help with manifesting? Let's have a look, Roxy. So, Roxy, you got the Native American shamanistic card, the shamanism. You know, and and I believe that once you're on a vision quest and you're looking to identify with things that resonate with you, birds in flight, um, ancestors coming together, shamans are in all different cultures. This particular card is the Native American shamanism, but it can be any culture and you're connecting with your ancestors, their healing ways. You, you, you're on a vision quest to ask them what you need to know. It's about the drumming, the music, you know, in any culture. We're Australian, didgeridoo, American Indian flute music, um, Tibetan cymbals. You can go all around the world and you can listen to all different spiritual music and tones um, and, and animals. But that's going to help you, Roxy. Excuse me. I have to have another drink. My throat is wearing out on me. It's wearing. Control Alt Delete that. I feel wonderful. Let me get the lid on. Right, who's next? Um, Robin McCallum. Hello, new to this page. Can I have a card, please? You certainly can. Just share this live feed. Robin McCallum. We're talking about manifesting, Robin. So before I go any further, I just wanted to just let you know. So I'm a manifester. Um, I have my own oracle cards. Um, I'm a manifester magical oracle cards. I have my latest book with me, Seven Eights of Me, A Tale of a Spiritual Adventurer. They're available on my website, which is lindawillowroberts.com. You can also find me on I Am A Manifester Facebook page. Now, just over the last few weeks, we have been talking about manifesting and the five different stages that I explain in my book. But we're also doing a webinar that you can register for that I have put the link in the top of this, that you can register and we can, we're doing it via Zoom and it's a webinar and I'll get to talk to you, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, answer some questions, release some blocks and some patterns that are holding you back. And so that's on the 13th of July, so you can register for that. But you can also, if you're in Melbourne, find me live. Uh, myself and my niece, Claire Hill Coaching, um, are presenting How to Love Your Spiritual Gifts, a live workshop, which is in Melbourne, which is coming up on the 11th of August. And you can book via clairehillcoaching.com. So I have put all that information in today's post. So you can find me and we can have some one-on-one. -on -one. You can learn to use your spiritual gifts 24-7 so that you are basically, you know, if you've got, you've got friends in high places, why not use them? Okay, let's have a look. Robin McCallum, let's have a look. What, how can we help Robin? What does she need help with? Addictions come again. So I would say the addiction side of things, that card's come up twice. We're going to talk about it a little bit more. Okay, so recurring patterns, recurring situations in our life. Okay, that could be the addiction side of things. It, it can be alcohol and drugs and smoking and gambling and all sorts of things. And it can be patterns and recurring cycles that we're in. If we're aware of the recurring cycles or the addictive part of our nature, now I have a really addictive personality and I go in and, in and out of them, depends what's going on around me, depends how I feel and I have to work on them. It's not something that you just, it just goes away and you never have to deal with it again. If you know that you have an addictive personality, you need to work on it, okay? I don't blame anybody for my personality. I look at it myself. But I love that part of me because that gives me light and shade, you know. 
but I'm working on it all the time as long as you're working on it so that's the card that I've got for you Robin so try and find where the addictive pattern is in your life let's have a look Teresa Cron let's have a look good evening I'm feeling really stagnant well these are magnet manifesting cars Teresa so let's have a look so you know share this live feed and let's have a look so Teresa, let's have a look. What can we help you with? You're feeling stagnant. So what would spirit have you do to help you for your highest good? I know that you're saying you're feeling stagnant, but this is the energy that I've got around you at the moment. It's a prosperous energy. So in no way, shape or form does this card represent feeling stagnant. This card is saying that you're in the sweet spot. You're feeling confident, happy. You're in that energy that anything that you put your mind to comes to fruition. So, Teresa, if you're feeling stagnant, I don't quite understand because that's not what Spirit's saying. They're saying you're prosperous. If you're feeling stagnant because it's not happening instantly, do you know, sometimes you can feel like when you've got one foot in the past and one foot in the future and you haven't quite got there yet, you can feel a little bit like nothing's happening. But I'm telling you, the prosperity card is around you. So at this point, jump in. You're prosperous. Everything's happening around you. It's per a perfect time for you. Um, you're in your sweet spot. Be confident. Be happy. Do more things that make you feel confident and happy and, and, and you know, change it up a bit. Do step out of your comfort zone, okay? So just trying to keep that energy up there. Um, I just have to put my glasses on, sorry. I can't quite see here. Maurice Zitzen, hi, this is my first time with you. I hope everything, everyone is great. Thank you for joining us. Okay, Maurice, um, let's have a look. May I have a card, please? I'm studying a new adventure this week. So these are the manifesting cards. So, Maurice, let's have a look. So share this live feed. And let's have a look. What does Maurice need to know? Maurice, let's have a look. Health. This is the health card, Maurice. So this is saying... Um, with the health, you've got Archangel Raphael up in the corner. You've got the chakras there. It's organic. It's healing. So um, I would say load up on a bit more water. Keep hydrated. Okay. So that's the, the card that came up for you was the health card. So hope that makes sense to you. So remember we're looking at things holistically, mind, body and soul. So this is all to do with your health and how it's going to feel for you, okay? Now, when I get the health card, I don't think of a health card as a negative card. I get the health card and think, oh, great, I've got this is what I'm working on. And so any time that you are looking after yourself, mind, body and soul is good. That's how I look at that. That's holistic. That's organic. This is what you're working through. So I'd say that that's a really good place for you to be. Melissa Evans, she's asking me, I'm lost in my life. Now, Melissa, we're using the I'm a Manifest of Magical Oracle cards. So I will ask Spirit, the creator of all that there is, what manifesting card, and it just flew out, could help you in your life? And it flew right out. And here it is again. It's belief. It's the belief card that you're not alone, that your guides and spirit and your passed over ancestors are there. There's no here nor there. They are close by. So that the people that are in your corner that are guiding you are there. They're only in another vibration so close. So believe that they're here, they're there, and they're helping you, okay? 
you're asking, so what direction is your life going in? in? In the direction that you're wanting it to go in, that you're mirroring, that you're mimicking. So whatever you're doing, spirit will bring more of that in. So it's not like what direction is my life going in or it's where are you taking your life? See, the, the question's a little bit different and Spirit have showed you that you're not alone, that believe that they're there and they're guiding you. So you need to ask for your high school darling. Uh, let's have a look. Just going down. Ingrid. Hi, Linda. New on here. Can I have a card, please? Thank you. Yes, you can, Ingrid. So be a liker of the page, of course, and share this live feed. Let's have a look. Ingrid, let's have a look. Now, these are manifesting. So we're asking Spirit, how can we help Ingrid manifest for her high school? Where is she at this point in time? And again, we've got the Native American shamanistic card coming up. So this is saying that, you know, the shamanism is there, the vision quest, the connection with, with birds in flight, the Indian flute music. It's, it's all there at this point in time. So it's, it's working with that, tapping into that side of things. I went to Sedona not last month, the month before. And it was just so beautiful to be in the vortexes of Sedona. It's happy, it's beautiful. The energy is walking along and then all of a sudden you'll stop and you'll feel the, the energy of the earth. You feel a vortex, you'll feel the ray, uh, a raise in vibration, whether it be hot, cold or a feeling. So Ingrid, that... I think that you need to be more out in nature. I think that you need to actually go for a walk and just not expect anything, to, but to see what happens. I think it's really important that you spend, you know, as much time as you can doing things differently in nature, going to different places, being curious again at where you're going to go, what you're going to see, what you're going to be. Um, and I think that that's going to help you um, get some momentum in your life. I really uh, think that's important. Um, Emma Burton said, thank you. That really touched me. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, Melissa Evans, um, just going through. Tracy Duff. Oh, I'm very sorry, Tracy. Tracy's lost my dad and now I'm, I'm lost. I'm so sorry, Tracy. I'm not doing mediumship readings, um, but I am doing uh, manifesting cards. And uh, so that's a little bit different at this point in time. But, you know, I got the belief card um, a couple of cards ago and they're never far away. Um, I don't do mediumship readings over the internet because I find that it's too impersonal. It can be very emotional and for um, from a duty of care perspective uh, it's really not good that I can't I'm not face to face with the person to see their reaction how they're feeling those sorts of things and I really feel um, that mediumship needs to be done one-on-one -on -one. Um, it's okay for me to give you a quick message here and then hop off the internet and I don't know how you are, you know. To me, um, duty of care, that doesn't sit right with me. Um, as I'm trained in mediumship and but most of uh, my other um, modalities I'm, I'm trained in and have taken some sort of certification course, um, we still sit with ethics and integrity and we all have our ethics that we sit with. And that's one of mine. And I'm quite strict about that. So I'm sorry, Tracy, that I'm not going to do a medium shit uh, reading. But all I can say to you as a spiritual person is that I really aren't far from us. It is in another vibration and they are very close to us. And um, you're never alone, darling. 
and um, if you feel that you are um, you know please connect with somebody that's close by by you and talk to them um, because it's really important that you say how you feel and talk to somebody um, I hope that helps you I sort of uh, would like to leave it there who else have we got Kathy McGill let's have a look Kathy McGill what manifesting card Kathy McGill how can we help you manifest okay this is the releasing card Kathy so I see she's written on a pieces of paper and she's sitting there by the river and she's actually putting the pieces of paper that she's released she's letting it go in the water and it's going up through the trees into source light so releasing helps blocks and patterns and, and letting go of stuff and um, like I said before I've, uh, I've put in the processes that I've used in seven eighths of me a tale of a spiritual adventurer that I that I did to release um, the blocks and the patterns that I needed to release and so we need to do that when we're starting again and building a foundation at every moment <coughs> sorry so we need to do that it helps build that foundation so releasing is really important and I feel like that's where you are at the moment Ingrid that you're actually letting go of things that no longer serve you and that are toxic in your life and that's a great thing to do um, let's have a look as we said thank you very goddess um, blessing to you you're welcome Paula may I have one thank you yep so just make sure that you share this live feed that you're a liker of um, spiritual events directory you can find me on I'm a manifesto Facebook page I'm Linda Willow Roberts let's have a look Paula how can we help you what does Paula need help with manifesting Paula what do you need help with manifesting we're digging deep home home is where the heart is there you go the homes in the sky so this again is saying that home is very important to you you're needing to spend some time soaking up the energy of your home you need to stop and smell the roses and feel that nurturing that you feel at home you know, sometimes when we get so busy and we're at work we get home we cook tea you know and it's just like the cycle goes like this but when you stop and you go oh, I'm home thank you I'm so grateful for home you know that's probably where you've got to be at this point in time so that's what's telling me Paula for you let's have a look um, Becca Lee oh my god my childhood horse Napoleon he was given to me by my dad for my seventh birthday there you go it was really quite there's a horse but yep yeah, that was really quite prominent Teresa said I hear you sister um let's have a look who else is there Roxy said wow I just brought the book the last shaman isn't that cool so the shamanistic card come up for you and you've just brought the last shaman you're connecting to it so for those people that got the uh, Native American shaman card just spend some time just you know putting the intent out maybe to bring your ancestors in to help you learn what you need to learn Susan Fuhr hello nice to be here first time working on a new path would love a card please so Susan we're using the I'm a manifesto cards which are my own cards and we're helping you manifest what it is you need to do or work on more and where you are in your life at the moment so let's have a look so Susan let's have a look what do you need to know let's have a look surrounding so Susan 
this is the card that's come up for you it's the surroundings card so it's saying that you're looking at what's around you at the moment part of manifesting and releasing blocks and patterns making sure that there's nothing toxic around you at the moment it's about being in a loving surrounding surroundings with unconditional love no one has expectations or judgments it's really important that when we're evolving and we're wanting to have a better life is to 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 have the things in in our life that we want more of that to come in that we want to mirror some people get so concerned that um, they have to actually do the blocking and the getting rid of people and choosing this person and that person but really when you put the intent out to spirit that you want peace and love in your life and you start mimicking that more of that comes in so toxic people and situations tend to drop off every now and again you might have a situation that you have to um, have those people around for an event that you need to go to and yeah you, you might slip back into that environment but ultimately you will notice that people places and things start to drop away when you start mimicking that so that's the surroundings card so that's making sure that you're having that those loving people around and uh, that getting the support that you need well I'm going to go all of the the links um, is to to the webinar to where you can buy my books and cards well not the cards at the moment because they've sold out they're gone um, but my webinar is will be at the top of this post. Um, my live workshop with Claire Hill Coaching in Melbourne on the um, 11th of August. The link will be up the top to her um, her website. So I hope this has helped you. I hope that you've you know at least that it, what you put out there and what you what you act, say, and do and think is mimicked by the universe, and that comes into you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. Work on yourself as much as you can. It's always all about us. So it's what we need to work on. Um, love Linda Willow Roberts from I'm a Manifesto Facebook page. And thank you for joining me for my magical manifesting show on Spiritual Events Directory. Thank you. Bye. Have a good week. <laughs>